to all the leaks and everything like that. I didn't realize, and call me dumb, I didn't realize the whole thing. I did find my underwear. Thank you. <laughs> the whole thing about the leaks and shit like that, that was a response to my interview with Sean. I didn't even put two and two together, y'all. Call me stupid. How many of y'all knew those leaks was a response to the interview? Put a two in the chat. You had no idea that was a response to the interview with Sean. What's up, Logic? I had no idea. I was all like, oh, that's why the leaks came out. I just thought shit. People was just putting out leaks. I didn't know that my interview had a reaction. I seen it on uh, Twitter. And yeah, okay, Renee didn't know. Okay, Poetic knew. Okay. Okay, V knew. Mary didn't. Yvette didn't. Okay, I am. Tori said I didn't. King Co uh, Coop said I did. I knew it. It felt intentional. Oh, y'all, I was I was dumbfounded. I had no clue it was a reaction. I just thought, you know, somebody was all like, okay, well, since, you know, the, the TGIF is hot, I'm going to go ahead and leak this out. That's what I was thinking. But no, it was the direct uh, response. Okay, uh, I did. CTV said so. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know. Because the only people that I had, well, I had, while I was on vacation, I had watched Sherelle's video, right? Uh, because somebody was like, oh, you got to watch it because she uh, gave you a shout out and stuff like that. So I watched her video. But I really didn't get, except watching um, Aaron and CTV, I didn't watch everybody else because I just wanted to watch the leaks and give my own perception before watching everybody else. So I didn't really watch the commentary. I just fast forward to where the video, you know, the Zoom call leaks and stuff like that. And then that's where I left it. I didn't, you know, pick up on, oh no, they was upset over what happened. Well, not them, not Aaron or CTV. Claudia was upset. It was all like, oh, you want to play games? Well, here you go. <laughs> I was all like, Ugh, oh, oh, okay. You know, it is what it is. And by the way, I'm not, at least for me, I'm not fighting with any of the content creators. You know, y'all can be uh, team, yes, shout out to Michelle ATL and too. Uh, y'all can be team Claudia, team Armand, team Al, uh, hell, team AT2. I don't care at the end of the day. I'm not going to fight with content creators. And I think we're all kind of on the same page. We're not fighting with each other. Like, this is, this is just content at the end of the day. Like, I really don't care. I got no damn money. Any motherfuckers, you know? Just between me and you. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you know, I'm team let them hoes fight. And we just talking about it, you know? Let them hoes fight. Uh, called you the godfather of YouTube. Thank you. Yes. Shout out to Sorella and Terry. Um, but anyway, so all this has been going down, and then I got a time to like really watch everybody. Shout out to Michelle ATL and Brown. Shout out to uh, Couture Bay. They've been doing a great job covering it. Shout out to everyone else. So I got to finally uh, catch up. And shout out to Make It Make Sense, too. I watched them earlier. Uh, so anyway, now, I kind of the other day was kind of going off because everybody was all mad at me. It was all like, oh, you interviewed Sean and you gave him a platform to lie, blah, blah, blah. Listen. It wasn't like a setup like, oh, yeah, Sean, come on here and lie on my platform. And again, he's telling his story. I can't say that he's lying. He is telling his story. Again, everybody's going to have their own story. What's up, princess? Everybody's going to have their own story. I, I can't put words in their mouth and I can't make them say anything. He was telling his story. Now, I am cool with you guys saying, I don't believe him. He's a liar, all this. I, I don't mind that. But you can't say it's my fault and I should have never had him on my platform and all this other, like, I'm all like, where are y'all, huh? I'm a journalist. Did I go to school to, for journalism? No, <clears throat> but I consider myself a journalist now. I got to get all sides and all perspectives. I've talked to Claudia before. So Claudia could have DM me and was like, hey, T2, a lot of that stuff he said was not true, blah, blah, blah. We've had communication before. So Claudia could have DM me. Um, Funky Dineva, I've never talked to, but he could DM me. 
Um, Armand, I have never talked to him. He can DM me, but I know he's not too much a fan of me, but that's a different story for a different day. But he could DM me. Um, Al, Al has been in my chat. Shout out to Al. Al's in Napa right now eating grapes and grape poupon and all that rich shit that he likes to do. You know, he boozy. You know, he does all that. So he's been in my chat a couple of times. So if there was something wrong, he can DM me or talk to me. Everybody has access to AT2. Even you guys have access to me and can reach out to me and stuff like that, you know? So if there's something wrong, we can clear it up. Um, but again, Sean is telling his story that or what he believes to be true from his friend Al. Now, if Al is lying to him or maybe he's just making it up because he's trying to get some clout, that's on him at the end of the day. This is for us to make a decision on whether or not uh, we believe it. And again, I believe there's all sides to a story. So I believe part of Sean, I believe part of Claudia, I believe part of Funky, and I believe part of Armand. Now, the person that I want to interview and make it make sense was all like, no, you better not. Uh, the person I want to interview is Miss Joy Joyce, because Joyce was getting hollered and yelled at by these ghetto banshee hood rats, you know, talking about Claudia, Armand, and Al. And you know that poor old woman. Listen, she about 69 years old. Her poor heart can't take all that yelling and screaming they was doing at that poor old lady. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I feel bad for her. Now I want <laughs> now I want Sean. I mean, not Sean. I want Joyce. I want to interview Miss Joyce. That's who we need. Put a one in the chat if you want to hear from Miss Joyce. Because I believe that's who really got the tea. Miss Joyce is a classy lady. She ain't used to all that ghetto hood rat banshee shit. Like, she don't know nothing about that. That lady drink uh, her insure with her pinkies up. She's not all about all that ghetto hood rat that they was, you know, yelling and screaming at her about. How dare you yell at somebody's grandma? Shout out to uh, Grandma Joy sipping on sweet tea. How dare you yell at somebody's grandma like that? That is disgusting. Gus, oh my God. Oh, disgusting. Ew. <laughs> What's up, Michelle? I gave you a shout out too. But yeah, they was yelling at that poor sweet old woman. Now, is that poor sweet old woman messy? More than likely. But, <laughs> but shit, they was yelling at that poor old lady. They should be ashamed of themselves. Like I said, if that was my grandma getting yelled at, I would have slapped all in a row. Shout out to all the grandmas out there. Can we put some hearts in the chat for the grandmas? You know, I don't have my grandparents no more, so I, I, I miss them. So let's go ahead and do a 30-second countdown where we put some hearts in the chat for the grandparents living and not living. Also for the great-grandparents, too. Shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to all the grandma, grandpas out there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm all like, what is going on? What's up, grown woman? But yeah, I like the way they yelled at that lady. Now, was she messy? Yeah. But honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't think um, that probably wasn't her passion. And this is just me making an assumption, you guys. I think that she looked at that show so like, I can't believe I'm doing this Zoom call show. She was all like, <laughs> all this drama and you niggas is on Zoom yelling and screaming? Like, she was all like, oh, this ain't enough money. So I think Joyce, you know, we, we got to be fair. I think Joyce went in there and was all like, I don't care about this show. I'm going to get my little paycheck and then call it a day. If they want to be up in here fighting and screaming, let them fight and scream. I'm going I'm to treat them just how they treat me. So she didn't care. No. <laughs> and so she was all like, yeah, let them fight. Whatever. She probably came because she was new. She came into a situation that was already shit. You know, let's be honest. Let's put it all out there. 
that situation was probably already going down the tube and everything before Joyce got there. And so when she realized, she was like, this is below me. I'm an Emmy winner. Why am I dealing with these? Who, who are these people? As soon as she seen the cast for the, or the host for the show, she was like, let me Google them. She Googled them. It was all like, oh, these are nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I ain't even trying to go in, y'all. I ain't trying to go in that bad. But damn, I got to be honest. That's what she said, y'all. She was all like, who are these people? Why am I doing this? This is below my pay grade. <laughs> and then she thought this was going to be on, like, Fox, right? No, it's going to be on Fox Soul. They tricked the lady. Because you know that lady probably couldn't read. She didn't have her readers on when she read that contract. And that contract said Fox, but the soul part was so small. And then she realized, <laughs> she realized it was Fox. And she was like, Fox Soul? What's that? And then she, they were like, yeah, we got this show. It's called TGIF. You're going to have three great hosts with you. And she was like, oh, who you going to have? They was all like, <laughs> correction, flop, so, right? <laughs> they, and she was like, okay, who's the host on the show? They go like, oh, we have Al Reynolds. And she was like, who? And they, they were like, oh, you don't know who Al Reynolds is? Okay, we got one better. We got Claudia Jordan. She was like, who? And then, <laughs> and then they were like, okay, you don't know who Claudia is? Okay, who, who, who's the other one? And then uh, they were all like, okay, we got Armand Wiggins. And then they, and then she was like, she almost quit right there. But you know what? Joyce is a nice lady. She didn't have no other jobs lined up. So she was like, you know what? I'll just take it. She was confused and, and befuddled because she didn't know who these nobodies were. But somehow they, um, <laughs> you know, she signed on for the show. Now. Joyce, Miss Joyce, if you did not want to do the show, you should have just said that. Because I know Joyce didn't want to do the show. Hell, the host didn't even want to do the show no more. So Joyce didn't want to do the show. So <laughs> I know I'm going to get dragged in the morning, y'all. I just know it. <laughs> and so nobody else wanted to do it, you know? So I'm like, I mean, Joyce was like, okay, well, let's just go ahead and rock with it. And then Joyce, you know, I believe that she was trying to give them pointers on what they can do to make it a better show. I don't think they were receptive to it. This is what I think also probably play, played a role into uh, Fox Soul getting canceled. I think she can, you know, whenever, have y'all ever had a job where they switch up the higher management? I'm not just talking about a little supervisor, like the director and stuff like that. Have y'all ever been at a job where they switched up like the higher management? Put a one in the chat. Because what I'm assuming is that what happened was she came with new, fresh ideas because she came from like actual TV and she didn't realize this wasn't TV, homie. This is Zoom. So <laughs> because it's Zoom, it's not going to work the same way you thought it was. And she was all like, okay, well, I'm just going to treat this job like shit, just like y'all treat it like shit. I believe that's really the truth. This is me being unbiased and everything. I believe that's the truth. She looked at it and was all like, okay, well, y'all don't care nothing about the show. I ain't going to care nothing about the show. So it is what it is. Oh, Miss Curious, that's happening to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to be mad. Uh, you can tell leadership changed last summer. The whole channel changed. It was crazy. Right, Papa? You're right. You're right. Here was her opportunity to work from home. Exactly. She was like, you know what? I'm slowing down. I just need to work from home. Uh, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate the catch up. Yeah. She was all like, I just need to work from home. Like, I'm getting tired. I'm, listen, Joyce is getting ready to retire. She wasn't trying to have no stress. And them ninjas was stressing her out. <laughs> That's how she felt. So also, shout out to Michelle because like, okay, with the leaks, right? Okay, you can take the leaks and look at them like, okay, they vindicated Claudia and Armand. You can look at it that way. 
And I think there's some nuance to it. But one thing I need, like we said before, I need to see the whole call in its entirety. Two, I also feel another kind of way that as a professional, you would release these calls. Yeah, you want to prove a point or prove this or prove that. Why would you leak it, though? That's very unprofessional. Imagine you guys having a meeting at work, and then all of a sudden you turn on YouTube, and you see your leaked meeting online. What? Huh? Where they do that at? You know, like, that's not how you do, like, a professional... That's not how you do that. If anything, because even now, I feel that there's people who are Team Claudia, Team Armand, Team Al. I don't feel like the Zoom call actually changed anybody's opinion. We just now confirm, know that they all full of shit. <laughs> like, that's what it confirmed to me. It just confirmed all of them was full of shit. Like, nobody was innocent in it. Now, like I said, Armand bears the less responsibility. I do think Armand came into a situation that was already, blah, 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 blah. you know, it was already down the tube. Now, did he help try to rebuild it or make it, you know, better than what it is? No, I think he just kind of conformed to the BS because of the people that he was already dealing with, to be fair, you know? And also, there's a way to deal with things professionally. Um, one of the questions that I have, were their managers at least allowed to be in meetings and stuff like that? I don't know if Armand has a manager. Um, I'm pretty sure Al does. Like, where were their managers to really do the, you know, heavy lifting and really get in there and do things for them? Because if I'm a star... I'm letting my manager or my representative handle all that stuff. I'm not, I'm the talent. You know, like Al got on there and was yelling and screaming, I'm the talent. No, if I'm the talent, I'm going to have, you know, my manager deal with these people. I'm not going to let you talk to me or try to sun me or, you know, these Zoom calls. It's crazy. And the petty stuff, again, you guys literally try to pull Armand on one side or the other side, talking about Al and Claudia, trying to get him on your side, and then it ended up just making the situation worse. Uh, Claudia recorded the calls. Uh, you can clearly see her hands moving when she's speaking. Oh, yeah, because I know a lot of people were blaming it on Justin, and then a lot of people were blaming it on Claudia. I, I figure it's one of the two. It's only obvious it's one of the two because Armand said on his Twitter, he said, I'm not talking about TGIF no more. He's done with it. He said something to the effect of that, like he's done with it. So I don't think it was Armand. And remember, Armand was supposed to talk to Funky. Did he? Uh, did Funky and, and Armand ever talk and squash it? Or were they going to like not, you know, make it public and it was just going to be a thing? Like, I wonder what happened with that conversation. Oh, did somebody answer it? Armand admitted Funky gave him uh, background info. Um, he refused to take Claudia's calls when they first started there. Yes, he, he did say that. Everyone blamed Armand first. And I want to say something, too, about the roast. The, the roast wasn't the reason why the show got canceled. The roast was the reason why it went on an early hiatus, earlier than what it was supposed to, because it was supposed to come back the following Monday. But all the drama surrounding it got, uh, all the drama like about TGIF got the show canceled. That's what got the show canceled. It wasn't Armand's roast, so I just wanted to repeat that again. But it was the reason why they went on an early hiatus, because it was like, oh, y'all ninjas can't even get along, and y'all work on Zoom, so... You know, we're just going to go on an early hiatus because we're going to go on one anyway. Let's just extend it 